how a fear of intimacy can cause you to avoid or sabotage relationships. The fear of intimacy, also sometimes referred to as intimacy avoidance or avoidance anxiety, is characterized as the fear of sharing a close emotional or physical relationship. People who experience this fear don't usually wish to avoid intimacy, and may even long for closeness, but frequently push others away or even sabotage relationships nonetheless. Fear of intimacy can stem from several causes, including certain childhood experiences such as a history of abuse or neglect. One overcoming this fear and anxiety can take time, both to explore and understand the contributing issues and to practice allowing greater vulnerability. What is intimacy? Intimacy refers to the ability to genuinely share your true self with another person and relates to the experience of closeness and connection. Some define different types of intimacy, including Intellectual, the ability to share your thoughts and ideas with another Emotional, the ability to share your innermost feelings with another Sexual, the ability to share yourself sexually Experiential, the ability to share experiences with another Spiritual intimacy, the ability to share your beliefs beyond yourself in a higher power, or individual connection to others and the world. The fear of intimacy may involve one or more of these types of intimacy to different degrees. What is fear of intimacy? The fear of intimacy is separate from the fear of vulnerability, though the two can be closely intertwined. A person who is living with a fear of intimacy may be comfortable becoming vulnerable and showing their true self to the world at first, but there are often limits to how vulnerable they'll allow themselves to be. For someone who fears intimacy, the problem often begins when the person finds relationships becoming too close. Fears of abandonment and engulfment and, ultimately, a fear of loss are at the heart of the fear of intimacy for many people, and these fears can coexist. Although the fears are different from one another, both cause behaviors that alternately pull the partner in and then push them away again. These fears are generally rooted in past childhood experiences and triggered by the here and now of adult relationships leading to confusion if a person focuses on examining the relationship solely based on present-day circumstances. Fear of Abandonment Those who are afraid of abandonment worry that their partner will leave them. This fear often results from the experience of a parent or other important adult figure abandoning the person emotionally or physically as a young child or two. Fear of Engulfment those who have fear engulfment are afraid of being controlled, dominated, or losing themselves in a relationship, and this fear sometimes stems from growing up in an enmeshed family. Anxiety Disorders The fear of intimacy may also occur as part of a social phobia or social anxiety disorder. People who are afraid of others' judgment, evaluation, or rejection are naturally more likely to shy away from making intimate, personal connections. In addition, some specific phobias, such as the fear of touch, may occur as part of the fear of intimacy. In fact, the fear of intimacy can be harder to detect as today's technology allows people to hide behind their phones and social media. Risk factors for a fear of intimacy often stem back to childhood and the inability to securely trust parental figures and caregivers which can lead to attachment issues. Experiences that may increase the risk of fearing intimacy include Enmeshed families While enmeshed families may, on the surface, appear to be loving and supportive, boundaries and roles might be blurred and lead to issues with attachment, independence, and intimacy. Four, Emotional neglect Parents who are physically but not emotionally available send the message to children that they and by extension, others, can't be relied on. Five, Loss of a parent People who have lost a parent through death, divorce, or imprisonment may be left with feelings of abandonment and may have a harder time forming romantic attachments as adults. Parental illness Illness in a parent can result in a feeling of not being able to rely on anyone but oneself especially when it involves role reversal or the need to play parent and care for other siblings at a young age. 
Parental mental illness, research suggests that parental mental illness, such as narcissistic personality disorder, can affect attachment formation in children, which may result in insecure attachment and poor coping strategies in adulthood. 7. Parental substance use Substance use issues can make it difficult for parents to provide consistent care, which can interfere with the formation of attachments. Physical or sexual abuse Abuse in childhood can make it difficult to form both emotional and sexual intimacy as an adult. Neglect People who experienced neglect as children may find it difficult to trust and rely on others, including intimate partners, as adults. Verbal abuse Children who are emotionally abused may grow into adults who fear being ridiculed or verbally abused if they share anything with others, which can lead to an inability to share and be vulnerable in relationships with other people. A fear of intimacy is also more common in people who are taught not to trust strangers, in those who have a history of depression, and in those who have experienced rape. Traumatic interactions in relationships outside the nuclear family, such as with a teacher, another relative, or a peer who is a bully, may also contribute to a fear of intimacy. While the focus is primarily on childhood, the experiences of relationships during adolescence and adulthood can continue to influence a person's openness to intimacy. The fear of intimacy can play out in a number of different ways in any type of relationship, whether romantic, platonic, or familial. It's important to note that the manifestations of an underlying fear of intimacy can often be interpreted as the opposite of what the person is trying to achieve in terms of connection. A person who has a fear of intimacy is often able to interact with others, at least initially. It's when the relationship grows closer and the value of the relationship grows that things begin to fall apart. Instead of connecting on an intimate level, the relationship is ended in some way, and replaced by yet another, more superficial relationship. The underlying fear of intimacy often lies a feeling that a person does not deserve to be loved and supported. This leads to the need to be perfect to prove oneself lovable. Whether it takes the form of being a workaholic or other manifestations of perfectionism, the fear often works to push others away rather than draw them near. Regular reminders of your love, through both words and actions, are important. With effort, and especially with a good therapist, however, many people have overcome the fear and developed the understanding and tools needed to create long-term intimate relationships.